For centuries, humans have gazed at the night sky, mesmerized by its vastness and mystery. We've asked ourselves, where did it all begin? The prevailing scientific answer is the Big Bang, a colossal explosion of energy that birthed space, time, and everything we know. But what if the Big Bang wasn't the true beginning? What if something far more profound and terrifying existed before it? Renowned physicist Brian Cox and other leading scientists have begun to explore this mind-bending possibility, suggesting that the universe may have no true beginning or end. This idea challenges the very foundation of our understanding of existence, pushing us to reconsider what we know about the cosmos. Could the Big Bang have been just one event in an infinite series of cosmic cycles? Or is it possible that the universe has always existed in some form, defying the concept of a singular beginning? These questions not only intrigue scientists, but also spark the imagination of anyone who has ever looked up at the stars and wondered about the origins of it all. The standard model of cosmology tells us that around 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was an infinitely dense, hot singularity. In a fraction of a second, it expanded explosively in an event known as the Big Bang, giving rise to galaxies, stars, planets, and eventually, life itself. But this story has a glaring gap. What happened before? The Big Bang? Modern physics, as advanced as it is, hits a wall when trying to explain the singularity. Einstein's theory of general relativity breaks down at this point, and quantum mechanics, which governs the microscopic world, struggles to provide answers under such extreme conditions. This has led scientists like Brian Cox to question whether the Big Bang was truly the beginning or merely a transition from a previous state of existence. The inability of our current theories to explain the singularity suggests that our understanding of the universe is incomplete. It opens the door to the possibility that the Big Bang was not the ultimate origin, but rather a pivotal moment in an ongoing cosmic process. This idea invites us to explore alternative theories that could shed light on what might have existed before the universe, as we know it, came into being. Brian Cox, one of the most prominent science communicators of our time, has proposed a radical idea. The universe may have no beginning or end. Instead, it could be part of an eternal cycle, stretching infinitely into the past and future. This concept aligns with several advanced cosmological theories that challenge our understanding of time, space, and reality itself. Cox's theory suggests that the universe is not a one-time event, but part of an endless loop of creation and destruction. This idea is both fascinating and unsettling, as it implies that the universe has always existed in some form and will continue to exist indefinitely. It also raises questions about the nature of time itself. If the universe is eternal, does time have a beginning or end? Or is time itself an illusion, a human construct that doesn't apply to the cosmos as a whole? These questions push the boundaries of our knowledge and force us to rethink our place in the universe. One of the most intriguing possibilities is the cyclic universe theory. This model suggests that the universe undergoes endless cycles of expansion and contraction. In this scenario, the Big Bang wasn't the first event, but merely the latest in an infinite series of cosmic explosions. Each cycle begins with a Big Bang, expands to a maximum size, and then collapses back into a singularity, triggering another Big Bang. This raises profound questions. What existed in the previous cycle? Could there have been life, civilizations, or even forms of existence beyond our comprehension? If the universe has cycled 
through countless iterations, what remnants of past universes might still linger in our reality. The cyclic universe theory offers a compelling explanation for the origins of the cosmos, but it also introduces new mysteries. For example, if the universe has gone through multiple cycles, what caused the first cycle to begin? And if the universe is eternal, does that mean it has always followed the same pattern of expansion and contraction, or could it have evolved over time? These questions highlight the complexity of the cosmos and the limits of our current understanding. Another fascinating idea is that before the Big Bang, space wasn't empty but filled with a strange quantum state known as the vacuum. This vacuum isn't truly empty. It teems with virtual particles, quantum energy, and possibly entire ghost-like universes that flicker in and out of existence. This concept ties into the theory of eternal inflation, which suggests that our universe is just one bubble in an infinite multiverse. Could our universe have emerged from the collapse of a previous one, or did it spawn from another dimension entirely? The quantum vacuum might hold the key to understanding the origins of existence. The idea of a quantum vacuum challenges our traditional notions of nothingness, suggesting that even empty space is alive with energy and potential. This energy could be the source of new universes, constantly bubbling up and expanding into existence. If true, this would mean that the universe is not a unique event, but part of a vast interconnected multiverse, where countless universes exist simultaneously, each with its own laws of physics and history. If Brian Cox and other physicists are correct, and the universe has no true beginning, it forces us to rethink some of our most fundamental assumptions about reality. In Einstein's theory of relativity, Time is a dimension, much like space. This means the past, present, and future may all exist simultaneously. If time has no beginning, does that mean everything that has ever happened was inevitable? Could the Big Bang be happening right now in a different part of space-time, while remnants of past universes linger just beyond our perception? Some philosophers and scientists speculate that the universe might be a self-aware system. Consciousness in this view isn't confined to living beings, but could be woven into the fabric of reality itself. If a universe existed before ours, could it have carried over knowledge, intelligence, or even memories? This raises the possibility that the universe itself is an evolving intelligent entity, cycling through endless phases of creation and destruction. The idea of an eternal cyclic universe isn't new. Ancient civilizations across the globe have long held beliefs that eerily align with modern cosmological theories. In Hinduism, the universe follows a grand cosmic cycle known as samsara. The universe is created, exists for billions of years, and is then destroyed only to be reborn again. This eternal cycle is symbolized by the cosmic dance of Shiva, the god of destruction and transformation. The parallels between this ancient belief and modern cyclic universe theories are striking. The Mayan civilization also believed in cycles of creation and destruction. They recorded multiple world ages, each ending in a catastrophic event and giving rise to a new era. Some legends even speak of an ancient world that existed before our own, a forgotten civilization lost to time. The Greek philosopher Pythagoras proposed the concept of eternal recurrence, the idea that the universe repeats itself infinitely. If true, this would mean every moment in history has already happened before and will happen again. Are we living in a loop that stretches before the Big Bang and beyond the end of time? 
If something existed before the Big Bang, could we find evidence of it in our universe? Surprisingly, scientists have discovered anomalies that hint at the remnants of a past cosmos. The CMB is the oldest light in the universe, a relic of the Big Bang. When scientists mapped the CMB, they found a massive, unexplained cold spot in the sky. Some researchers, including physicist Roger Penrose, believe this could be a scar from a previous universe, a leftover imprint of black holes from a past cosmic cycle. Stephen Hawking proposed that black holes slowly evaporate over time, emitting radiation. If a previous universe existed, some of its black holes might have survived and could still be present in our universe today. These ancient black holes could carry information from a past cosmos, hidden within their event horizons. Gravitational waves are ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events. Some physicists believe that certain gravitational waves could be echoes from before the Big Bang, carrying traces of a previous universe's collapse. Quantum mechanics, the science of the very small, offers another perspective on the origins of existence. One theory suggests that the universe emerged from a quantum vacuum fluctuation. In quantum mechanics, empty space isn't truly empty, it's filled with energy and virtual particles that constantly appear and disappear. Could our entire universe be the result of one such fluctuation? This interpretation of quantum mechanics suggests that every possible outcome of an event happens in a different universe. If true, our universe might be just one branch in an infinite multiverse with countless parallel realities existing simultaneously. Some physicists propose that the universe is a hologram, a 3D projection of information encoded on a 2D surface. If true, could our reality be a projection of an older, deeper cosmic structure? The idea that something existed before the Big Bang challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe. If Brian Cox and other scientists are correct, the Big Bang wasn't the beginning, but a transition in an eternal cosmic cycle. Remnants of past universes might still linger in black holes, cosmic radiation, and the quantum fabric of reality.